This is just my opinion, but kids today spend too much time on their phones and not enough time getting together to build robots. Thankfully, there are some teens out there setting a good example. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this year's first robotics competition. We have teams competing from all over the world to see who can build the fastest, most efficient robot. In this corner is Team 1159, Ramona Rampage! Get your robots ready. Our first match starts in three, two, one, and the robots are on! This year's theme is Reefscape. The teams earn points by sweeping away the algae, symbolized by the teal balls, and placing coral, represented by PVC pipes, onto the reef structure. And Ramona Rampage just placed another coral, zooming ahead to take the lead. Wait a minute. I think we've glitched and gotten ahead of ourselves. How did we get here? Let's debug and start at the beginning. This group of gear-driven innovators didn't just show up with a competition-ready robot. It took months of hard work. Powering the squad forward is Sarah, the team captain. I wanted to join the team because I like to build things and I wanted to learn how to design all my ideas. Also coding the way is Chloe, the team's lead digital designer. I joined the team because I'd always had a love for math and crafting. They ended up really loving it here and finding out that this was a passion. Designing and building a robot from scratch is no small circuit. It's a major challenge. The team starts with nothing but a blank page and a spark of inspiration. We start with having a group meeting the day of kickoff, AKA the day that they announce what the game of the year is. We gather our ideas and we plan them in our designs. So we sketch them out, we gather dimensions that we want and everything, and then we move on to prototyping. So we build like practice designs of our mechanisms. From there, we kind of set our big ideas in stone and start cutting out pieces out of new materials. And look at it go, it's cutting the circles we said it was gonna cut out. Do you see it? Yeah. After attaching everything that we have created, we give our programmers time on the robot to code all of the mechanisms we have created. After that, we spend the most time we can practicing before competition. They put the robot to the test, fixing any bugs in the system and fine tuning to make sure it's wired for its best performance at the big competition. <laughs> One, two, three, ready! Okay, now we're back in the action. Each team member has a specific job. Together, they sync up and interface like a finely tuned machine. Using cameras and remote controls, they drive the robot to sweep away the algae and place coral onto the reef. Got a coral. This high intensity competition is fast paced and stepping into the arena pushes students to their limits, testing their resilience. Sometimes robots break down, requiring players to think quickly on their feet. When something goes wrong on the field or during a match, it feels like everything you've worked so hard for is suddenly crumbling in front of your eyes. But this isn't the end. You have to go out and you have to fix it and we all have to find a solution. Our intake for one of our mechanisms wasn't working perfectly, so we all kind of work together with our different expertise to solve those problems quickly. The team gets their robot rebooted and back online, shifting into high gear to take on the remaining challenges. As the competition wraps up, the Ramona Rampage girls are proud of what they accomplished. We won the Creativity Award, and that was for the creative design of our robot. It's being proud of what we've created and seeing it truly work. These girls leveled up and powered through, proving that they're ready for a future in STEM. That was good, that was good. Being on the robotics team, I've definitely learned a lot about myself. I've definitely grown. When I go to college, I'd like to study geology, which I want to take into a career in seismic engineering. Being part of this team and being part of an engineering extracurricular like this as a whole has made me realize that even if it feels hard to belong, I definitely belong here. This is exactly what I want to do and this is exactly what I want to bring to the table everywhere I go. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. 
I've seen this one over a hundred times.